streaming now. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. Never mind the ballot. A brand new look at all things politics from The Sun with me, Harry Cole. Watch my big end of the week with no stone unturned. Every Thursday evening, exclusively with The Sun. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kingston City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. But you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <listen. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth blimp. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist we're, we're did fail her. Yeah, we're absolutely. supposed to have was moved on from that. Era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. A bottle of vodka, that'll do me. That'll do me. I'm not There's 50. something else in there. There's something else in there. Right, there's a card. No. Oh, is it? What yep. is it? And you've got to wear these. OK. I'm, I'm willing to... Oh. <laughs> and my mum's words 
where, oh, Andre loves a good cake. Mm. <laughs> um. Happy birthday, Andre. You thought we'd forgot, didn't you? Okay, no. So what I have... You've got chocolate up your nose. What, what I do with... What I do with... <laughs> What I do with um, cards is this, like your kids do. <laughs> Are you not going to read it? No. Um, read this one. To my on-screen husband, well, she's lying. Um, <laughs> despite what you say... What I people say. All right, I can't read. <laughs> with bloody glasses. <laughs> uh, happy birthday. When do I get my own MBE from Chuck? That's a good point, actually. That's yeah, a good, good point. OK. Wishing you a very happy 50th... I'm not 50. I'm not 50. Um, is that birthday privilege or white privilege from the... Uh... I think that's his birthday privilege. OK, um, well, I get no privileges with anybody on my birthday. Um, no, look, look. Can I, I like the hat. Can I explain why I don't do anything for my birthday? Oh, here we go. No. This is the ridiculous explanation no. of how he has two birthdays. I have two birthdays the like the king. The queen. Like the king. You are not I'm the not queen. the queen, I'm the king. No. Um, so the reason yeah, is because because behind no, him because they're going to stay all the way. All oh, right, all right. Because <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody, right, no, what, right. It's because you all, love that, don't you? All my mates, <laughs> all my mates have elections in a couple of weeks, so I, I could never get anyone to a party on the 19th of April. That's what they said officially. Uh, but 19th of May. And I, because my son's lick it, birthday, lick it off, lick it off. No, because my son's birthday is on the 20th. I always remember your birthday, oh, and I a god friend. Oh. Look at this. Now you're Mexican. Why am I? Happy no, birthday. no, I'll be done for cultural appropriation. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you do look very Timmy Mallet, actually. Why do I look like, I look yeah, like Elton right, John? These have to stay. These have to stay. That's the law. Can you feel the nerve tonight? Don't kiss me. Don't kiss me. Never kiss Andre. <laughs> Never kiss Andre. OK, these glasses can stay we, on. Uh, did we surprise you? You did, actually. I know. This is the one time yeah, I wanted to... Ah! Ah! No. Ah! And you know how you can tell? You know how you can tell you were actually surprised? Because you, your face... <laughs> He's putting it from under the table. Well, they were seven quid each. Be careful. <laughs> oh, oh can so I it's know? Andre's birthday. It's Welcome Andre. to Talk TV Talk it's not, it's Radio. Andre, and if you are listening as opposed to watching, you're on the radio. Not, you will not, not know 50. that I've brought purposely brought. A five-old big balloon. I do know he's only forty-five, but it's more. Am I forty-five? It's, yeah. Sorry, mate. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? My, my uncle. <laughs> Why De do I know how old? My you uncle Des. My uncle Des phoned up my mum once, and he goes, "Loretta, it's my birthday, and I'm depressed. I'm thirty-eight. Where did the years go? I'm thirty-eight. 38. And my mum went, Des, you're 42. Well, why the bloody hell have you told me that? Well, you are 42. <laughs> <laughs> you made me feel even worse now. 42. Well, I came in and I said to the makeup lady, she went, oh, oh, whose birthday is it? I said, it's Andre's. And she went, is he 50? No, <laughs> no. So now everyone in the building thinks you're 50. Okay. And that tickles me if no one else. Right, can I tell you what's bad that's happened to oh, me? Oh, and bad for people on the radio, we also I've also bought him some silly happy birthday cupcake glasses as well. Oh, they're meant to be cupcakes. I thought, I thought it was wear. a vulva. Oh, no, I'm oh. <laughs> okay, that's sorry. an interesting sorry. shape. Sorry. How many vulvas have you seen, yeah. Andre? Far that, too that's few. Worrying. Far too few. <laughs> Far too few. Okay. So so and if anyone wants to wants to offer what? me that, oh two four 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 nine nine one thousand. Right, I want to talk to you about okay. about the major problem. I've had this week. So we had the James Whale well MBE party. We've gone on and on and on about it, but it was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And the culmination of eight months' work for me and indeed Chuck Thomas and a few other people, uh, Paul Scully, the Member of Parliament, to get to where we needed to be. Um, anyway, when so I hired a car for the day, which I'm hoping to expense to talk radio. Oh, yeah, good luck. Don't think it's going to work. Good luck with that what, one. what I might do is partly expense. I was desperate to get anyone to use it on the night just to, just to, just to justify the expense claim. But anyway, so 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 I got little Matt, who is the woke rabbit, to come to, to my place to meet me after I went to Coworth Park uh, to see James off in his in his motorcade. And it was a motorcade because he had a Bentley and a Rolls Royce going to, to Windsor Castle. Anyway, we got in the car, went to London, no problem. When I got back, I discovered there was a white van parked in my car parking space at my house. Can right. I just uh, tell this bit? Andre doesn't have a car. So, quite rightly, though, that is Quite rightly, I've got space. a driver. You've got, got a, a parking space, a yeah. And, you've got, and, and to be fair, when I came and stayed with you, 
I parked it in your parking you space. Park it's very handy, yeah. but you don't have a car, so yeah. I can see why people would no, think they could park right. in your no. space. So, so, so I thought that's a bit rum, and, and I was a bit annoyed until the driver, who is the regular driver, so just to explain, rather than waste money on taxis, I get an S-Class Mercedes instead, which saves the company money every night, oh. right? Okay, it's cheaper than Uber, All right? Okay, <laughs> so um, he told me that what had actually happened on Wednesday afternoon was that the bloke had gone, excuse me, mate, I need this car parking space, can you get lost? My driver in my car no. parking space has been moved on. Right, so so I was I, I was furious. So Thursday night I put a note on the car. Right, what did it say? Which it said it said. Uh, Go on, do you want me to read it? Be polite. Yeah. Do you want me to read it? Oh, well, I do want to know because it's. It, right, we have I'm, to find out. All right, well, it's going to take me. The proper steps here. Right, the proper legal steps. Yes, okay. Because because that. The proper legal steps, by the way, everyone, is going to become an important point in a moment. So, okay, so what note, I said... Note said, go on. What I said was, Dear van owner, I understand you threw my driver out of my car parking space the other day before you moved in. I find the cheek of this staggering. If this vehicle appears in this space again, I'll have it towed away. Regards, Andre Walker. Regards, Andre Walker was his name on it. Still, still be polite, still be polite. <laughs> now, here is the problem. I decided to clamp it and have it towed away, which I thought I could do, except for in 2010, I ran, I ran a successful campaign to ban clamping and towing on private property. <laughs> and so the reason I can't get rid of this bloody car is a law I personally advocated and pushed through the House of Commons. And that, uh, my friend, is called Murphy's Law. <laughs> poo. <laughs> right. So do you know what I've done? Well, I, put... I thought if you put a signpost up saying don't park here or you'll be towed, I thought that you were allowed to... That used to be the law until I you got it. it. Okay, okay. So I want to apologise to everyone who's had cars parked on their drives and they can't get rid of them. That was my fault. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clamp the car anyway. I wouldn't encourage anybody to do anything illegal. I don't believe I am going to. No. I think it's only illegal. It, and, I, and by the way, this isn't legal advice. I think if you charge them for it or leave it on forever. So what I'll do is I'll say, I put this clamp on for security reasons, right, to help you out because the gate's a little bit broken, and uh, call me when you need it removed, and I'll do it within four hours. Which, Fair enough. Which, which I think will be sufficiently annoying. So, so hopefully you'll never park there again. So is, is he a white van man who lives there and has a white van? I, I, I believe he's a painter and decorator. Oh, OK. And you're sure that's your space? Because if it's not... And you're doing all sorry, this. Sorry. There's a chance it might not be sorry. your space. Oh. There's a chance it's his space and yours might be a different space. No, 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 no. It, it, well, hang on a second. I know what about those people who live where you live who have that weird car cover? No, we, we, well, we're getting, rid, we're getting rid. Of, they've got a temporary. They've got they've a, temp, got like a they've got a temporary carport, but it's been there for more than six months. So under planning regulations, it's officially permanent. Oh, here we and go. You can get it removed. <laughs> Yay! It's like a big, like a gazebo on steroids. He's got, he's got a Lamborghini under that, you know. I say. Oh, and you hear it coming home at night. Oh, that's his wife. Um, anyway, anyway, um, I thought he had a good-looking wife. <laughs> well, he will He will do. He's a big porker himself, but he's got the Lambo. Exactly. Um, no, I'm joking. He's, he's a good bloke, actually. Okay, um, OK, so, um, so Marilyn what? is in Derby. Marilyn, you're on Talk TV. Good evening to you both. Good, good evening. evening, Marilyn. Right, Danielle is a seasoned traveller. You because you go backwards and forwards abroad, don't you? I do. Yours. I would just wondered how you feel, feel about this uh, business at the moment with Tenerife. I love Tenerife, and to me, all this. Yes, I can understand some of the, you know, the, what the inhabitants are going on about. But there's a lot to. Of... Can, can I answer on oh, your behalf? Yeah, what's going on in Tenerife? Yes. No, can I answer on your behalf? I think I think that these people should grow up and get a life. Right, 40% yeah. of Tenerife's economy is tourism. Why? There, what's happened? Well, there are 2 million people living in Tenerife. Right. 14 million tourists come, principally yep. from the United Kingdom and Germany. And, and there are a group of people going, oh, it's unsustainable, oh, it's dreadful. Well, they're probably going, it's unsustainable, because they're Spanish. So, so hang on a minute, so we, what, they don't want us to go? No, what, no, what they're no, saying... No, what the, have what, we annoyed them that no, what, much? What, what, they're saying, what they're saying, actually, it's not about it, it's about the environmental By concerns. the way, I go to Costa Rica. Right. But, but, but for me, time. but for me... Here's the thing you've got to be careful about. 
There's 2 million people living in Tenerife, 40% of the economy is tourism, and 10,000 people marched on the streets. Now, I get that the BBC, I get that Channel 4, you know, went cra crazy about this, but actually, I think it's a minority of people, I think it's a minority of sad, pathetic individuals. Tenerife was a backwater before British money and German money built it up. And I think most still, people... Andre, this still... The hotel where I visited several times, there's a lot of poor, um, you know, on basic money. And, it, you know, you tip them that and they're grateful. So what are they going to do? They're not bothering about them sort of people, the shop owners, the cleaners, and this, that, the other, are they? They just... Well, I, I yeah. mean, the, the other, the other well, thing is... Mate, there is we... only the, there's only the, t the touristy areas, so are these people come from the non-touristy areas? I, I is that the, what we I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you the, the one thing that I will say in defence of these 10,000 people, they effectively, there has been... And uh, I don't want to besmirch the government of the Canary Islands, but there has been some suggestions that some of the hotel developments that have been granted planning permission in, in what we would call areas of outstanding natural beauty, the reason why people voted for that wasn't um, legitimate. Let, let's just leave it there, because I don't want to besmirch anybody. But, that, but that's, that's a matter of planning. It's not a matter of tourism. So if you're deeply unhappy that this you know, great, you know, historic thing or this great yeah. um, area of outstanding natural beauty has been trawled up to build a five-star hotel. That's a planning issue, not, yeah, not an not issue. it's not a tourism issue, is it? But, um, hey, by the way, do you, know, do you know what I love about Danielle Go now? On. She's no longer watching lefty media, so she doesn't know about the Tenerife protests. <laughs> I don't. There you go. Well, thank you for letting me have my say, but... Can I just make this other point? The gentleman that was talking about it this morning on yeah. the news yeah. did say, and they understood, there's a water shortage now, and yet they're building all these other hotels. So in, in one respect, it doesn't make sense, doesn't it? Because obviously they've got fine water for the hotels that there. And he made some valid points. But I still think about... You know, knowing most of the people in the shops and the maids and that, it, it just seems. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but as, but as, but as well, you know, there's a whole industry that's going to be. But, but as you, but as you, but, but, but as you know, Marilyn, from the Canary Islands, the Canary Islands for years has suffered from high levels of immigration. I mean, you mm. just see uh, people who've come from Africa yep. um, wandering around on the beaches. That has undermined wages over there. So it's almost the same as Brexit. The way that we're sat there going, you know, uncontrolled immigration has pushed down wages and whatever. It doesn't mean you need to crash your economy what it means is your government needs to be better and in terms of the areas of outstanding natural beauty you know we wouldn't build we wouldn't build something huge on the lake districts no right so, so we wouldn't knock down stonehenge so yeah. so neither should they well marilyn thank you very much well, for calling in but you, you seem to you. have hit a nerve because our call desk is absolutely lit up so that's all right isn't it oh that, no so, so 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 this is a great conspiracy theory okay Andre, I think it's all because the Spanish want Gibraltar. Right, now, I'll tell you what, if you want to phone me up to explain the link between the environmental protests in Tenerife and the Spanish blockade of Gibraltar, I will put you straight through. <laughs> 0344 499 1000. You can WhatsApp us on the same number. We've uh, got Luke in London on the line. Hi, Luke. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? Yeah, fantastic. How about yourself? Good, and I'm glad you're so fantastic. That was with I'm looking for that expression. cake. Where's that cake gone? Oh, magni oh but honestly, magnificent all the time. Good. Uh, you just got to um, you just got to feel good, and then then generally you do feel better on yeah. Saturday night. I agree. Mm. Yep. So, what do you want to talk about, Luke? While well, there's a few cake. things, right? There, there, there's a few things. But obviously, the topic of um of conversation tonight is about Tenerife and Spain. Oh right? God! So, just one second. Really? Do you know where that's from? Shall I tell you where that's from? Go on. It's a little special. <laughs> no, no. It's nice. It's oh. nice. <laughs> he hates the fact that I shop in these budget supermarkets. <laughs> Sorry, go on. It's just quite dry, that. It's not dry. It's, it's like the glasses were dry. I don't want to eat your bit, but let me taste this. Mm -hmm. bit. I want to eat your bit. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> you cannot say that. Okay, sorry, oh, you Luke. Can't say that. You go like say, no, even Luke I'm, agrees. I'm sorry, sorry. Go on. Yeah, no, you're all good. You're all good. So, uh, uh, as you were saying, um, you were saying you can't say that. Well, oh. w w why is that? What that you can't say he wants to eat me. Eat, yeah. eat your bit. Eat your bit. <laughs> yeah. I didn't I eat your bit of cake. 
Yeah, Luke, what did, what did, you, what did you ring up to talk you, about? Uh, uh, um, you would not eat my bit of cake. What I've got a lovely okay. cheesecake at home in the fridge. Oh, OK. all mine tonight. <gasps> what, 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 I like a piece of cheesecake. No, no, hang on, hang on a second, hang on a second. No, Luke, Luke, if, if, no, Luke, hang on a second. Luke, hang on a second. Luke, calm, 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 <laughs> calm. If Danielle ate you know your what? cheesecake tonight, what, what, what do you think she'd say afterwards? No, 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 no. <laughs> If you can, if you can, Who's if you laughing, can, Luke, in the background? Mrs Slocum was referring to a cat. If you can cool, if you can get me on the team's cool right now, I will get my cheesecake into the same thing, my friend. OK. All right. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Where's it gone? I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... Luke, are you having a party? No, no, I'm okay. not having a party. Is it, it's no, not no, your party. birthday, like... He's having a party for me. Is it your birthday, too? Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday, Luke? Oh, look, he's just drunk. Luke, uh, Luke, drunk. Luke, goodbye. Thank goodbye. you, Luke. Bye-bye. We're bye. going to be taking more of your calls straight after this. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. All right, right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh, Ooh. It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <Where is> it? <laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know what's, I know what's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> just, 40 yeah. minutes, 40... Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, 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 did fail her. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Can I just say, you look like you're having some kind of dirty protest there. Not by licking it. <laughs> Not by licking it. That wasn't... I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, you can say many things about Bobby Sands, but he wasn't licking it off. <laughs> <laughs> it really wasn't. Bobby Sands. No. It's been a while since that's been referenced. 
<laughs> yes, do you know, it was do you, do you know, Andre's know, birthday do you know, yesterday. Do you, know, do you never hear about these days? Go cheap boots are lazy. Also, I got you a, um, from Little Also a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> now, can I just remind you? This is a late night show. If you are easily offended. This is not what, the show for you. What, by reference to Chief Boots are lazy? This show is for grown-ups, so please... Oh, yeah, make, well, that's obvious, isn't just it? Just to make... No, well, just to make that very clear... Right, can you just lick, can you you know, just lick it off my face? If you, no, if don't, you no, won't. No, no, actually, they will. No, he's, look at him. No, look at him. He's going wild. He no, he's, he's pretending he to laugh. He has never said. He has never said. He is pretending to laugh. Can I just laugh. very quickly say a big hello to Olive? Say hey to Olive. Hello, Olive. Olive is a fan of the show who absolutely adores it, watches every single Saturday. And But the best bit about Olive was this little story. When I went to Saudi and we streamed me from Saudi, you made a joke about how much it had cost to be able to do it. Yeah. And she, bless her, was like, do you know, it cost them a thousands to get the Danielle streamed from Saudi. It did. It did. Oh, look, Which that tickled shirt. me at the that time. Shirt, but that yeah. shirt's gone. Hi, Olive. Thank you very much for being right. a frequent watcher of the show. I have remembered for the first time on the train earlier, I was talking to John, who got off the train in Sunningdale and is a member of the Royal Enclosure at Ascot. And he, said, he does look like poo. He said, he said, <laughs> he does, he does, John does not look like poo. Right, so, <laughs> so John said to me, he said, he said, I love the way you have a go at the boats. All that, you know, yeah. the boat arrival. Oh, look, yeah. Look, he clearly wasn't a left winger okay. by any stretch of imagination. <laughs> and he said, he's a member of the Royal Enclosure at Ascot and he's going to go on the Monday, Tuesday, the, sorry, the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. He said, Are you going this year, Andre? I said, Yes. He said, Is Danielle coming? I said, She's not invited. What? No, but like, you're not, because you're not like an important one. Are you not taking me? Well, you little. No! That's my face. Don't touch yeah, my face. Got I've, got a there. I've got to shoot for vision. Are you not t if you don't take me, I swear, I swear. Um, I will. T I will you know I want to go to the races <coughs> and I love it. And look, when I go, we get to do nice things, if you know what I mean. So it's always to your benefit. You know it's to your benefit to what take me. What do you mean me. do nice things? But when I go, you know, everyone likes to look at something pretty. We get to go and do nice things, and you know it. We got in loads of places last time. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. <laughs> no, we didn't. I, I invited you to Cheltenham, but I didn't want... And we got to go and do loads of fun things. I didn't, I didn't want you there, but... I don't think you'd have got to do those fun things if you hadn't took that me. Is, I, and I don't know what those fun things were. Nothing happened. We went in I that enclosure thing I had a few with Princess Zara, whatever her name Princess is. Princess Zara Phillips? Yeah. That was me that organised that. <laughs> Why are you trying? I'm sure it wasn't. You're just, you're just gaslighting me now. <laughs> just gaslighting me. All right. Aaron is in Milton Keynes. I'll put my glasses on. Put your glasses on, yeah. Just chill out. Aaron, you're on talk to me. In your nice sunglasses. Good evening, Andre. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, Andre. How are you? Oh, Andre. Hey. hey. Aaron, how are you? <laughs> Um, I, I'm not bad, Daniel. I just want to wish Andre Walker a happy birthday, and I send him my best wishes. Oh, lovely. Look at that. He just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Um, also, we got another happy birthday. Happy birthday, Andre. Hope you had a wonderful day. That's from James in Glasgow. Happy birthday, Andre. Danielle, you look incredibly beautiful this evening. Thank you very much. You can keep texting him. May I ask, are you mixed race? Everyone always says that. Oh, Everything do you she's... have some Southeast Asian heritage from James in Epsom? So a lot, of well, people, a, lot of, a lot of people think you are part Chinese. Yeah. I've, no, well, Thai. I've had it a lot. Thai. No, that's got lot. nothing to do with the way you look. Hey. Hey. It's smutty um, tonight, isn't it? it is. I think I'm just, I, I think I just don't it's care. It's just one of those. That, and I've not it's, even got the puppies it's out. My, it's my birthday. And not only that, but uh, you know how I was saying last night, I go on the Bible study class every Monday. Oh, yeah. Um, I, it's not happening on Monday. So tomorrow, like, I can just get completely wasted and not care. Oh, really? And you never do that? <laughs> well, well, I mean, what's your problem? Where's if that you from? Want to give us a call, it's 0344 499 1000. And the subject of this evening is whatever you want it to be, whatever you want to be. Are you concerned about, about clamping? Yeah. Do, you, do you have a tow truck in the Ascot area? I no, know I I've been triggered by Rishi Sunak and all this people with mental health are not allowed on benefits. So I know that has triggered I'm me. By that. So if you want to have a chat about that, please give us a call 0344 499 1000. Because of course, it's all about PIP, which is personal independence payment is that do you right? Know, do you know yeah do you know yeah. what my dad said to me he said it used to be called said, disability he said, living in life andre you always miss the boat with everything i've only just been diagnosed with adhd i was entitled to pip i was entitled really? to pip and they f abolished it oh no it feels like sunak is personally out to needle me there you go, did sunak. you nearly get a blue badge 
blue badge, shop mobility car. No. Right? My mate was going to become my carer and I was going to get five grand a year, which is at least... I just can't believe you're 45 and you've only just been diagnosed. <laughs> I'm joking. Did everyone know? I'm joking. Did everyone know? Are, this... you, are you honestly serious about that? Yeah. Honestly, Chuck and I had a conversation, a very nice one behind your back, but yeah, absolutely. Right, the problem is, does everyone <laughs> just think I'm a nutter? You just, you, you've got big, yeah, and then you've attention, you're easily distracted, everything. My brother's diagnosed as an adult with ADHD, and uh, yeah, there's similar, there's similar things. Well, I there. didn't know what it was because I didn't read the form. Oh, there you go. We've got Barbara on the line in Cheshire. Hello, my lovely friend, Barbara. How are you this oh, evening? Oh, hi, Danielle. Hi, how are you? I love that dress. Thank you. My mum's just messaged me the exact same thing. She said she Gorgeous. loves the dress. Thank you. I've, I've, I I've never go blue. for a... I've never the, seen the, you in the, 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 it, she, she stole that, that from Lois Perry, really. I suppose because I have, she, really. She knows, no, she knows that no, Lois is, is really no, it's, edging it's, her out of the way. No, in she, terms she's of... thought of that herself. I think. Ah, oh, see. Yep. See. Yep. Hi, Andre. <laughs> Barbara sticks up for me. I've got no chocolate up my nose. You, can't be, you have. You need the makeup. I'm going to do makeup in the break. Do you reckon? Yeah. Sorry, Barbara. Andre. Go on. No, he is. 50. He's 50, Barbara. I'm not 50. 50. I'm 50 and nifty. 50. Do you know what? Do you know what, Barbara? Every time it's my birthday, every time, Andre thinks it's hysterical to say you look so great for the big 5-0 and so that was ringing in my mind so I've been to home bargains <coughs> I've brought these all the way from home bargains right. in Eccles and the seven quid each not a cheap funny present that for I can't understand I can't understand That's why no no Barbara give me a second I can't understand how your husband's a football manager you're a TV presenter you're like got that from little got that from home and you know why because I'm just normal Andre that's no, why it's because it's because she's exactly. putting money aside you can take the girl out of she, Salford she's a natch she's but they haven't taken the girl out of Salford have they Andre. you still live in Salford and I stand she's at the end of the till being that annoying person waiting thank you <laughs> thank you Barbara I'm Aren't natural you, Andre yeah uh, natural? you know what rich people yeah. are only rich because they don't spend all the money Mm -hmm. In it, Barbara. It's not true of me. Yes. Mm. Definitely. Oh, oh, no evidence of that has, at James Wells' party with Charlie Mullins. She has, <laughs> she has the word class. <gasps> Look at that! I love yes, Barbara. She doesn't have to pay highly for it. Aww. See, Barbara. Now, ba my now listen, now listen, Babs. Babs. She, I don't yes, know if you Sally. can call her Babs yet. Babs Cabs. Only oh, her friends yes, call her that. Yes. Or Bob. 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 Yes. Bob. Bob's Tootin' Babs. Um, yes. So, uh, I watched. Do you watch that documentary about the um, the scariest debt collector in Britain? No. He's Tootin' Babs. That blog's Tootin' Babs. What does it mean? It, I think it means taking drugs. Oh. Tootin' Babs. Oh, it probably is actually. Oh, yeah. That bag of beef. Oh, Babs. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, oh, well. so Babs. Next yes. week. Next week, well. we are on. Um, we're st we're starting our streaming service. Will you still continue to phone in? Say yes. Yes if, yes, if I can get on it. Right, OK, Barbara, we're going to explain <laughs> how you get on it. Do yes. you have YouTube? Um, right, let's not Have you got this. YouTube on an iPad or anything? No? You got Barbara, a Barbara, can, Barbara, can... Barbara, Barbara, you can continue to watch us on this channel if you have and hear me out on this if you have a tv that's smart if you have an ipad if you have a tablet oh, computer oh, if got, you have a I've computer got, if you have a phone if you have any TV. smart device shut up yeah, she's got Play, a smart tv any smart device right, so listen barbara on your smart I could, I could tv there'll be a section that says apps no oh no barbara stop 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 listen to what danielle says listen barbara on your smart tv there will be a section that says apps you download the YouTube app, in the bar at the top, the search bar, you just put Talk TV. That's it. You will see us. We will be at the very top. We'll, we will be the first thing there. So you just press that. Yep, Talk TV, live. There we Boom. go. We're watching. That's now, all you need, now, Barbara. Now, now, Barbara, Barbara, I have to say, uh, we are saying to everybody out here that if you have, and, and this is quite a big list, a TV that smarts, i.e. you bought in the past 10 years, a box 
that has free view and all the rest of it yep. because it'll also be a smart box. Yep. If you have Sky, because it'll also be smart, have a smart yep. element. Any of these. If you have oh, a, right. an iPad, a tablet computer, a phone, oh. or a DAB radio, or any smart device, you are completely fine. Now, if well, anybody phones well, me up and says, I don't have any of those, buy one. Just buy one. Well, I'm not Because it's because... cheaper than me. It's cheaper than me spending eight million a year paid well, to be on these channels. The way they design these TVs, and I know because my literally my uh, uncle fixes TVs, that's his job, right? They design them to break, <laughs> they're supposed to break, and they're not fixable. It's ridiculous. We're a throwaway nation. We all know that. But... You, you, there's no way you've got a telly that's older than 10 years because they just break. Let's all be honest, yeah, right. they break. So you must have a telly that is capable the of The only person YouTube. who might have a TV that's older than 10 years is David and Corain. If he was to, to phone up and say he has a TV older than 10 years, I would believe I'd that. I'd believe him. I would believe, I'd believe that. him, yeah. I've got, I've got a TV that's too old now. Barbara, it's going to be just fine, I promise you. You just have to be able to get YouTube, that's all. And can, also can I just tell you what I was ringing? Oh, please. About. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Barbara. Most, Sorry, love you. <laughs> you know, I've had the most un unbelievable... Go on. ...day. Unbelievable week. I've, uh, unbelievable yes, pause. I've, yes, I've had the most un unbelievable day today. Right. right. Andre. Yeah. Um, I went down to the co-op because I needed some... I know the co-op in culture. I know the co-op in culture. Yeah, I, I just was going to say yeah. exactly the same thing. I need to go down to the co-op yes. because I needed some money for the gardener tomorrow. OK. I came out and I was drawn to go to the cherry tree. Mm. Yes, now, I'm on my own. Yep. First right. time I've ever been out since... You know, since Alan passed, Alan, yeah. Yes. I went up to the bar, bought a bottle of wine. She likes red wine, yes. Because I thought, well, you know, I'll take. She it likes back a real cup. I'll just have a drink and take it back. You yeah. should do stand up, Barbara. And I was Go sat, on, Barbara. I was sat out. I was sat out having a drink of wine, and the people that kept coming to the table next door i i felt it was absolutely fantastic and i was chatting to them right and then i thought oh um i'll, I'll just go and have you know <coughs> something to eat okay so i went into the restaurant mm. on my own yeah into a restaurant good girl and I, I found myself sat there having a meal. Right. Good, because you and, shouldn't drink on an empty stomach. And after I'd me had the meal, mm -hmm. or while I was having the meal, people were going past. Yeah. People with babies and everything, and, and I was chatting to them. You're and a very likeable person, Barbara. I'd gone into a new world. Good. So you didn't feel lonely. On my own. Good for you. And you know On what? On my own. Barbara. And then I went up into the pack horse, which is okay. our local. Yeah. And who did I find? All our friends. And, and they were us. I've got them all back now. Oh, oh. Barbara. And I feel like I've got a new life. Good. And I'm glad. And I didn't know that you were sitting in and not going out, Barbara. I'd have told you off for I that. I haven't been out since Alan's... Well, that's been a long off, time, you know. Barbara, that to not have not gone out. So I'm yeah. glad you've gone out. Now, Barbara, it took you a while to get there, but I think it's phenomenal what you've done. And, um, you know, and you we, know we... I, I, would, I, I, would, I, I would love people... I would love this to help people to get Bar on with their lives. Barbara, do you want me to tell you something that I think you would be absolutely really, really bloody good at? Darts. They, every area, every area has like a grief support group and they have volunteers. Mm, oh, oh, yeah, and I've they go around something. to people's houses 
and no. all you do is just sit with them and chat to them and help them through. No. You're oh, I've, so I've, I've personable. I've, 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 I did counselling at Salford University oh, yeah. earlier. You would be perfect so for that, Barbara, because you're so I lovely. I'm a qualified counsellor, but do you know what I'm going to do? What? Well, I would, I would love to, to do um, a care support group in our local pub. I think that's brilliant. No, I've got, I've got a better idea. You, you, I've got a better idea. Barbara, a drink. You, when, Barbara, when you go to these... When Barbara, you Barbara, when these we... No, do you know what I think we should do? You, Barbara, you, I've got a better idea. Do you know what I think we should do with this new streaming service where we'll have a lot more power over our shows to make a decision? Let's make Barbara our agony aunt. Right, let's get Barbara on and let's get people phoned up. Because always remember something. She's worked in children's services. Our she's advice. been a local counsellor. She she's had stuff. bereavement. She knows her stuff. You know, I, I would love anyone who has any problems whatsoever or if they'd like to have a chat, even during the night. Yeah. No. Well, Barbara, this is what I found out with doing talk TV. So many people come and say, oh, we watch the show every night, we love it. it yes. We get that kind of audience. Andres, we Any think Andre's the main one, but we like, we think you're OK as well. But, Barbara, if you're prepared to, uh, on Saturday, you can be our Cheshire correspondent. No, Agony Ant. Yeah. Our, uh, um, yes. We'll phone Fine. you on Saturday, we'll check in it's with you. It's not Agony, though, it's just, it's just a... a happy, All right, we'll call you a Joy Ant. Yeah, yes, uh, uh, yes. Barbara, absolutely. There is, there, honestly, there's not enough of things like that. There's no compassionate friends group, as far as I know, no. in Warrington. Oh, well, that's no. all, I tell a lie. There is in Warrington, not and in they're, culture. They're all, they're all sort of in, um, you know, okay. um, uh, struggling. Community. And you know what, Barbara? <laughs> Loneliness is such a problem mm -hmm. for people. I think that it's wonderful. Me and you will have a chat because I live near you. We'll have a yes. little chat but, as but well. She like, I can't commit to every week, but I would love to Barbara, come. Barbara, Barbara lives in the posh bit. You live in, like... The posh a bit. No, no, like, <laughs> like, like we're all the scrubbers. I, I don't I'm live cheeky, in the posh side. I live in You're the scrub. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm, on, I, I'm in the slums of culture, I am. Barbara, he just thinks he's being funny. Right, we, we I, can have a conversation. I owned a million-pound home. <laughs> you haven't, or you have. I haven't. Oh, right. Oh, oh I was going to say. No. I was going to say I'd marry I'm myself. <laughs> I'm in the slums of culture. <laughs> you right. are Bar not, Barbara, 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 I think Culture's we need to have expensive. a joy aunt. I think we need to bring you on and we need to get others to phone in with Absolute, their problems. Absolutely. And yeah. So if I anyone wants to ring that. in now and we'll test it out tonight, anyone wants to ask Barbara anything, it's 0344 499 1000. 0344 499 1000. And we'll put it to Barbara. Or you can text us if you want. 87 Treble now, 2. Some, somebody Start your said, message with the word talk. Somebody oh my God, that, that cake. Did you Look, just burp? That cake. Did you just burp? That cake. On air? You burped on air that, then. No, it wasn't. You did a gulpy burp <laughs> on air. That cake was dry. It has, it, I did get it yesterday. It's dry. I, I'll be honest, I bought me. it yesterday. <laughs> right. It wouldn't, right. Sorry. You're not, you're not going to believe what the producer said. Go on. When, and this is pulling back the curtain, is it? When we tried to stick it to your face during the break, it wasn't damp enough to stick it on. <laughs> so somebody said, why is Andre looking so filthy? My answer is, filthy gorgeous. What next? <laughs>Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kingston City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yeah. Quite yeah. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. 
Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh, Ooh. It's carry on what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> Whoa, <listen. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth blimp. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans. Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist we're, we're did fail her. Yeah, we're absolutely. supposed to have was moved on from that. Era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Welcome to Talk Radio Talk it's cultural TV. appropriation, this. I'm Danielle Nichols. This is the birthday boy. It's not birthday boy. Andre Walker. Who this is my birthday suit. He's taking off his birthday glasses. Now, come on. Happy birthday. Yeah, why somebody are we calling baby birthday, but I like it. <laughs> Some, somebody said, I'm the painter and decorator who's parking in your spot. Up yours from Bob the Builder. Hey! Why? Now, Why? my husband is watching this in Saudi, so there is no excuse, guys. You can definitely get this. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. You just get your YouTube, however you find YouTube, because we all know that you watch YouTube, and type in Talk TV, and we'll be there. And, we'll and, and, why, be there. and why would you want to miss out on me in a sombrero, Elton John's glasses, and something from a hula party? At least you've not got poo around your face like you had poo. a minute ago. It wasn't poo. You did. It was, it was, it was chocolatey poo. snot. But it was, you are a bit phlegmy tonight, aren't you? Well, I've, I've There's got... been a lot of snurging and swallowing. No, well, uh, well, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. Could I be honest with you what, what happened? Oh, well, go uh, on. on. On Wednesday, Nigel Farage was very ill, and I think he gave it to me. Oh, like, like, you actually, like, like no, there was no, the, no, there was no... We, we had a beer at Wales party. There was no... Did you kiss him? I didn't kiss him. Well, how's he giving I it to I you, shook then? his hand and said, Who are you? Well, I'd he... never heard of you. Bro. Nobody in Europe had never heard of you. Yeah, but hang on. How can you possibly have got germs from him by just shaking his hand? That's because no. you were talking for a you while. You kissed him. I didn't kiss him. You did. Also, can I tell you something else? What? I invited my mate. I'm going to start that as a rumour. See if we can get it in the sun. Andre Walker. I invited, I invited, I invited one of my mates to dinner. He got so shedded before the dinner that he had to sleep in my official car <laughs> during the dinner. And that was lucky, actually, because Josh Rom from The Sun had invited him and forgotten to tell anyone. I love Josh. And, and they went, Josh was going, oh, my... Well, actually, I won't try and do the no, first No, don't be Josh. He goes, he goes, that was terrible. He goes, oh, uh, uh, I don't think I can get in. And I went, don't worry, just sit with me. Um, so it all worked out well. Um, so, and, it was nice, Josh. Another bit is the former minister, Paul Scully, had to go home in my official car while a drunk bloke was just asleep next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him, just climb over. Yeah, you'll, be exactly. all, you'll be all right. It's all good. All right. If you want to give us a ring this evening, it's 0344 499 uh, Calls will be charged at your network rate, or you can send us a message to 8722. Remember, though, start your message with the word talk. Then write your message, send it to eight I'm seven. Clean, I'm cleaning two. myself now. Watch. Oh. 
What's oh, that? this. That, that's, that's how you do oh, it. Oh, that's wet. Ex what? That's really. No, no, hang on a second. You put too much on. No, hang on a you second. There are people listening on the radio, <laughs> Danielle. I'm washing okay. my hands. He's using hand sanitizer, but he's clearly put way too much on his hands, so now it's dripping. Right, no, all don't, over the don't, desk. don't. Luke is in Bromley. Luke, you're on Talk TV. Hello, good evening. Hi. Good evening, Happy Luke. Birthday. You did look like Timmy Mallet with those uh, glasses. He does, doesn't he? Very Timmy Mallet. <laughs> Brought back memories there from the 80s. Mm. Right. Um, OK, I have kind of like two things to talk about. To be honest, there's three. I mean, Judas is coming up soon. There's London Mayors, and we have to get rid of that. Yeah. But um, that's huge. That's massive. Well, have you heard about Wales? We, yeah, we got Wales are getting rid of the 20 mile yeah, an hour. 20, yeah, just, just, well, yeah, just, 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 do, just do us a favour. Just do us a favour. Do us a favour, Luke. I know you're in Bromley, but there are elections coming up, so let's just be, let's okay. just avoid them as a subject, simply because it All just right. causes me problems if you talk about it. Let me talk about. What, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so there's two things I'm just going to talk about. The Dubai floods. Do you think that's that's kind of opened up a bit of a gap there in terms of like the the precious sort of like um this this wonderful land of plenty has now become like a you know a real. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? Place. Um, I, I, mean, I was supposed to go to Dubai last time I visited Saudi and I'll yeah. be honest, we ended up just going to Bahrain because we live right near Bahrain and it was just easier. Dubai, the, uh, prob uh, the, prob uh, the problem with Dubai is there's been an awful lot of very, very silly vanity development. So, so as, yeah. an example, as an example, the Burj Khalifa d doesn't have plumbing. Uh, what the reason no. why it uh, can plumb out? Uh, the reason why you can flush the toilets is because trucks pump out the effluent every morning. Um, okay. It just it's built basically to have wow factor, but there's not a lot behind it. The other thing, of course, yeah. normally the reason you build a skyscraper is because land values are high. That's just not true in Dubai. Mm. They've built them no, in order to go. This is the tallest. This. This is the biggest. Vanity, that. Vanity. Yeah, mm. and I, I, do, I do wonder. I mean, all those all those underground uh, car parks that they've got, and they're all full of all the rich people's cars. They're, apparently, they're just full of water. You know, all these Lamborghinis, and I, I mean, it's not bad if you're a car salesman. You're going to sell those new cars now, but well, wait. Well, um, just as I left Saudi, it, it rained, um, so I got away with yeah. it. But it was it was it was flooded in Saudi, but not like Dubai. It wasn't as bad as sure. Dubai. So the, heard, the have you heard that the Saudis? The Saudis are genuinely thinking of building a canal. Uh, so Qatar becomes an island because they don't like them. <laughs> oh, no, I'll, I'll tell you know. what, no, no, I'm not joking. You know, I, I don't know much about Saudi internal politics. I don't know a huge amount about their relationship with Qatar. But there is nothing I think is more amusing than saying, we don't like our neighbour, so we're going to build a big canal and turn <laughs> it into an island so it can't come anywhere near us. That to me sounds hilarious. I don't think that would because they built that beautiful causeway over to Bahrain, so there'd, there'd be some way of getting over there do you, do you know? Can I give you an amazing fact yes, about please do. Doman yeah? and Bahrain? Yeah, go on. Doman Airport is bigger than Bahrain. I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, that's a fa that's one of Alan's facts of the day. I know. <laughs> there we go. There you go. So Luke, so, so Luke, what my, do you, what my, do you think yeah. is the relevance of all these floods or whatever? Do you, do you think it's just natural, or do you think that the uh, the guys in the United Arab Emirates have got things wrong? Uh, they, they they look. They just care about. Look, they're, they're like if you, if you know the Bible, you know that guy who built his house on the sand, and another one built on the rock. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean they built theirs on the sand, right? The well, yeah, but but if you think out. about it. Do you think about it? Lloyd's of London is the world's biggest insurance market. The reason why Lloyd's of London is the world's biggest insurance market is because Britain used to be the world's biggest shipping power and the world's biggest yeah. naval power. We're not anymore, but we still have Lloyd's of London. Surely the argument that Dubai is making is if we build this amazing place People while there's it. still oil in the Middle East, when there's no longer oil in the Middle East, it will continue to exist as a legacy project. Well, apparently, people I know who've lived in Dubai, who I've met in Bahrain, have said now that they can't even afford to live in Dubai because it's in that much demand. But also, the best thing about Dubai is every single person that you went to school with who was a genuine tosser has now moved to Dubai. So they've. <laughs> no, but you might. That is true, That's though. Not that is true. true. No, that is true. That is not oh, yeah, true. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm living in Dubai now. I'm living in Dubai now. Like, I've got a mansion that's worth 50 squillion pounds. Yeah, go away. Just don't come back. Don't come is there anything else you want to say, Luke? Yeah, yeah. PIP, that's what I wanted to talk about. Okay. Uh, the benefits. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm interested to know what your thoughts are, and I can tell you mine with someone who's classed as disabled. And so. Um, all these years, actually, I'm fully entitled to benefits, and I've never taken them. I decided to, to basically... I, I have Parkinson's, I was diagnosed six years ago. So you've, you've never um, claimed benefits, Luke? 
No, because I knew that it would keep me in a hole and, and stop me from progressing. Yeah, but what about, but Luke, but Luke, what okay. about personal independence payments? So we've got a guy called Tristan from Southend. There was a bit of a joke the other day about the fact that I forgot he was blind, but he's gone blind recently. And he was phoning up the other day to talk about these new arrangements. He was saying the brilliant thing about it is that now it's based on need rather than automatic. Because yeah. what Pip said was, so I, I agree with the principle of personal independence payments. It says, it doesn't matter how much you earn, there are some expenses that you're going to incur as a disabled person that are different to other people. So in the case of Tristan, and I've not been blind myself, yeah. though these glasses might suggest. Otherwise, he's saying, obviously, the place he used to walk where he now has to get a taxi. And that sounds sensible. So you to total that up. But the reason he liked the new arrangements was because rather than the amount being a fixed sum, it's based on your need now right. rather than sure. uh, being and automatic. They'll help, you, they'll help you find solutions like bathrooms and baths at work and, you know, whatever else, slopes to your front door. Yep. Those are all practical things. Yep. But I do wonder if there's too many people who just claim on some, some they're feeling down or whatever, and maybe that's... Well, the, the problem, the problem is there, there is a difference, a year, there is a difference between having a problem with your mental health and having a mental illness. Um, right. Dan, can, look, as can an example, I just say it isn't easy to claim... Pip. It isn't easy. No, but but Dan, no, but Danielle, not. when when your daughter died, you were suffering from a serious mental health problem, i.e., grief. But you weren't mentally ill, right? What what was up with you? What 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 you, what, you, what was up with you was that you were going through a process of grief. The problem that we have, I think, it seems to me, and I might be wrong, yeah. that there are some people who have a natural disposition towards being depressed and anxious and whatever for no reason. Right, and those people... I can't imagine people with depression are, are able to claim PIP in the way that you think they are. But, I don't... Yeah, but it's not just that. It's a fit, it's a fit note as well, isn't it? It's just signing yourself off and getting paid unemployment benefits. It's a whole well, I think there is, but... a, ma I think there is a major problem. I think there is a major problem with people who start off unemployed and because they sit unemployed for so many years, genuinely yeah. do become grossly overweight, genuinely do become very depressed, genuinely do become... It was designed to be a safety net. What's happened over years is it's become a fishing net. It's become basically pick what you want, try and get as much as you can. Mm. Um, and it's look, looked upon like from Canadian See, things. See, I've, like, I've been very vocal about, I think that can. there should be other ways of treating and other ways that they can go about it. But, um, a, I, you know, net, just but, uh, yeah. keep kissing look, when out. I, when, when, I was, when I was like, my story, basically, in a nutshell, and I'd love to come on your show sometime to explain better, is I, I basically was uh, diagnosed with Parkinson's and a big bank in London got rid of me very quickly and everything else. So I decided to start up my own company. Mm -hmm. I went to the job centre in Bromley, and I said, look, I'd, and I had a letter which was going to give me everything, and I didn't show them that letter. I said, I want to start a company. I want to employ the people downstairs that are queuing for jobs. And I looked out to Canoe Wharf and said, I want to clean that building. I want to start a cleaning company. And within nine months, I was cleaning seven towers. And after that, I've gone on to help 250 uh, women, mums back into work and do all sorts of things like that. Wow, Luke. And, yeah. That's and absolutely I'll... fantastic. Well, yeah. and, and, and Luke, the reality is, it, it is ridiculous to say that everybody uh, is going to be able to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, but it's also ridiculous to say that nobody who is on the scrap heap right now could have done what you did had they got the right guidance. Sure. It's about seeing turning your weakness into strength. And yes. you know, if I can do 30% of what the average person can do, I make sure I give it 100% of that 30%. Yes. And as a consequence, rather than 30% of 100 And as a consequence, it's amazing what things you can do. And surround yourself with good people, positive people who can help you and give you a lift up. Lift yeah. up. Well, and thank you very much for around. the inspiration. <laughs> I love it. That's Luke in Bromley. And I, I think that's a brilliant story. I like that. I've got a disability ADHD. Oh, don't start. We've got Cindy in Michigan. In the in the USA, Hi, who is watching for, on YouTube right now, aren't you, Cindy? Ole, ole. Yes, I am. <laughs> How is it? How easy is it to watch us on YouTube, Cindy? It's so super easy. Super there we easy. Go. What do you do? All, all I have to do, all I have to do is say into my remote, YouTube, talk TV, and it pops up. Oh, there you go. So if you've got one of these talky yeah. things... Like they have on the skybox, you just talk into it. There you mm -hmm. go. How old are you, Cindy? If yeah. you don't mind me asking. Oh, I'm on the thirtieth of April. I'm going. I'm going to be fifty-three. I told Ash I was already fifty-three, but I'm um, yeah. Hey, so, 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 you're so, a Taurus. so whilst you're not, whilst you're not an old person, you're not young either. You're not one of these little whippersnappers with their computer oh, this and I'm, whatever. I'm 
definitely no spring chicken, but it's. I'm going to say to oh, everyone, it's super easy and don't worry. There we go. See? Change is scary, but not that scary. So you've heard and it I from also say, Yeah, you heard it from me. If I can do it, you can do it. Try. Just try. Plus, you, don't, you know, I, to your listeners, you don't want to lose talk TV, so just do it. Yeah, that's it now. Like we've Nike. We've got you. Okay. Um, yeah. That's oh, right. yeah, and I, I wanted to say I love I love Barbara. I love, love Barbara. And I'm hoping that um, when you guys decide to take calls for her or whatever, think of me because I I would love to talk to her. Ah, oh, well, I'll tell you what, Cindy. Cindy, Cindy, do you want to be our US correspondent? Hey. Okay, yeah, I would love to be. Right, congratulations. Right. You are the late the late Yay. night phone ins talk radio talk. I hope no one thinks oh, they're gonna get paid. Awesome. I, I don't need to get paid. I would love to do it. I'm I Cindy, we're gonna take your you. number Cindy, down. We love you. We're gonna start phoning you every Saturday and we're gonna ask you yeah. about this about the uh, US symbiotic relationship between tax and investment in the latest <laughs> government spending <laughs> rounds. <laughs> We're not well, going to do that. What? I'll surprise you. I'm going to, I'll do some studying. <laughs> Sorry. Right. We've just had in our <laughs> ears. Well, go on. And what do you think about Biden's you know uncle being eaten by cannibals? That can't possibly be true. Cindy, we're going to say <laughs> goodbye. We're going to be back just in a couple of moments. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online, and we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Hey, Quite hey. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss him. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth.
Good morning. Welcome to Talk Radio Talk TV. I'm Danielle Nichols. This is 50-year-old Andre Walker. It was his five birthday oh. yesterday and he, he hit the big 5 -oh. Doesn't he look great for 5 -oh. 5 -oh. <laughs> He's I'm not, not responding. I'm he's not, not responding because he's. Little, I can see I've, I've, I've triggered you. I've triggered no, you haven't you. triggered me. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. Um, what I, like, I, I like your screensaver on your phone. What? I like the screensaver. I don't know what it was. It was like cake. It, it was me going. <laughs> um, so, I, I, do you know what I think we should do? What? So, I've just had a text message from Fat Al. Uh, who owned Fat Al's Pizzas in uh, St. Helens. And I've just sent the message, I've just sent the phone number to Matt, our telephonist guy. So we're going to chat to Fat let's, Al. Let's try and get Fat Al OK, on well, in the meantime, point. let's speak to Janice in Essex. Hi, Janice, you're through to Talk TV, Talk Radio. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. Good um, morning. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 20 again. Yeah, 21 <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah, 21. <laughs> and all the little Andres are running around his feet. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, little Andres. Yeah, 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 loads of them. Um, no, they're all still say, in your sack. Could I just say one thing really big up? With the Luke. stalk, you mean? In the stalk sack, <laughs> filth. I, 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 don't I, I don't think we're going to win a BAFTA for filth, are we? I'm sorry. I don't know what. I don't know what's what to over you. me tonight. I've not I've seen my husband you. for a while. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't, Sorry, Mul Janice. Mulhern would never put up with that, <laughs> would he? No, Mulhern's worse than that. Oh, oh, so let's just be smirched to Mulhern No, now. no, so no. You, let's drag yeah. him down. No, no, no. Sorry. Baby stalk See? Yeah, sorry. I was talking about the baby stalk, Janice. Yeah, of course I was. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, my darling? Um, right. Um, first of all, could I say something to you, Andre? You really do a Bible study. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Do you really do a Bible study? Every, Tell the truth. Every Monday, yeah, I do. No, you don't. You don't, because I said I'd read the Bible and you were like, Pow. Right? You really yeah, no, I actually Bible do. Study, do they give free thinking? alcohol? No, it's in the morning. They give free... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you no, do no. actually do it. Do yeah, I do. You I do. do, it I, do. We, I do. I do. We also, are struggling with this, aren't I we? Also, I also hold both the bronze and silver Guild of St. Stephen medals in the Church of England, in the uh, Catholic Church, rather. Right. Admittedly, the bronze Can one I you get for becoming you an altar boy. Right, I just <laughs> want to cut this. I don't want to go biblical. Go I on. I just like you to read Genesis chapter 26. Okay. Oh, okay. Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26. I love that. I love that. Is it Jesus? He knows me. And he knows I'm right. Our name. Our name. Right, let me... was singular. It was plural. Will it... Will it... And Will I be enlightened? Now. Enlightened? Genesis Sorry? chapter what? 26. Where God said, in our name. It was plural, not singular. Right, yeah, but, yeah, but God, yeah, but God would use the yeah, royal way. I've got an idea where nobody likes us going abroad anymore. Yeah. Right. I don't like... Um, I don't know how you feel about um, all-inclusive. Now, if they're not liking us, why don't we... Why don't they build corrals in the winter so they can put all the awful bricks in, they can give them all the drink they like, and then they don't have to go round the streets puking and doing everything they do? Well, that is kind and what of does what that, And what does that have to do with the royal we used by God in Genesis 26? That's something separate. No, oh, I see. I, I've yeah. just oh, gone three things. No, yeah. My brain works. My brain works. And Janice, so, so, so can I, so can I say that. Can so I... in Ibiza... That I went to stay right. in this beautiful part of Ibiza and it was absolutely lovely, but there were only a couple of shops on the beach and I had a chat with one of the guys that owned it and he said, the all-inclusives are absolutely ruining our industry. Oh, They're ruining it. I hate them. I, I hate love them. them. Yeah. Can I, I tell you, when them. I go to eat as much as you like Chinese, any money plates. to the people. I can honestly selfish. say I've only ever once stayed in an all-inclusive, so I've, I'm with I you, Janice, on that. And that was in and that, Kenya. Well, I did it in Tunisia yeah. and come back with food poisoning, and it was yeah, one of the worst experiences of my life. I was so ill. Oh, it was awful. I agree, never, Janice. Do so you all find it as, as long as it's not like a my bad all-inclusive? My, my, flight, my flight to Israel on El Al, all the alcohol was included. And they, at one point... Yeah, but that's different. No, but they were going to get the gaffer tape to restrain me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wasn't that bad. I, I just, it, was like, it was like, it was like, only one wine per person. Not oh. inclusive. 
the people don't get the money. Yeah. They pay the pittance. I agree. But if you want to stop the brick and stop being mad, then you just... All these islands... Well, got it, to be honest, thinking about it, if Tenerife are going to do that... Brick, no, but the nice brick... Can go out and have a nice time, and they'll think good. Yes, of but, it. Right, but, okay, so you're saying put, look, put the reality, all the rowdy ones the in and all the reality, the reality is, the reality is. The Canary Islands had no real purpose for Spain when slavery was stopped, right? That's where all of the slave ships came from. I'm not blaming people from the Canary Islands for that. British tourism is what made these places what they are. Now, do you know something? I personally do not believe, and people can disagree with me, why should somebody work for 50 weeks a year and then their two weeks on holiday become three times more expensive because somebody in the Canary Islands wants to earn a couple of quid more an hour when they don't deserve it. I actually think, God bless uh, package holidays, God bless uh, cheap tourism, God bless EasyJet and Ryanair, and God bless the all-inclusive holidays, because ordinary mums you know, need those, yeah. because otherwise they can't Some afford it. Some people can't afford it, especially, yeah, when you kind yeah, of add it can. all she's up. She's absolutely loaded. It's, <laughs> just, it's a disgrace, really, having two houses. Oh, know. my oh, I mean, it's disgusting, really. You ju you're just jealous of my Saudi gaff. I'm, I'm jealous of my Saudi gaff. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that makes me laugh. You're jealous of it because you don't live there all yeah, the time. Yeah, it winds me up. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Janice in Essex. I think you've got a very valid point, and right. I'm going to go and read Genesis. It, have we now got Fat Al on the line? I forgot Fat Al. Alex in Burnley. Are Hello? you Fat Al? Hello, can you hear me? Hi, yes. yeah, we can hear you, Alex. Before you start, I just want to say this. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Come on, Danielle. Happy birthday, birthday, dear Andre. Now you're 50. Happy birthday to you. That was very lovely, that. Right, that fat, was very fat, lovely, Fatal. Fatal. Fat Al, here's what I want to know about you. First of all, I want you to explain why you're known as Fatal, but I also want you to explain what happened to your pizza place. And given that, the last time you came on Talk TV, you were explaining that you were going to make a black pudding pizza, and I understand that now your pizza shop is no more. That's a real surprise to me, Fat Al. Well, they call me Fat Al because I used to be 23 stone and I was a DJ. So they call me Fat Al called out. Well, I'm no longer 23 stone. I should be called DJ Slim Fat. Yeah, oh. so you're Slim Fat Al. I've got to So how much weight have you lost? Uh, about, I think about seven stone. Oh, well done. That's mm. good. That's All he did was did It's a full child, that. <laughs> <laughs> I just think to the piece that Andre would have eaten. Yes, yeah. that. <laughs> uh, so, so Fat Al, what I want to know is about you feeding Johnny Vegas fry ups. Yes, we we fed Johnny Vegas. He came in a few times. He did indeed. Yeah, and also a little Judy who's on Coronation Street. He comes in as well, but oh. not on his own. His dad. What does he yeah. order? Uh, well, we don't do food anymore. She just gets a bag of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember. Well, you don't sell food now. So what do you sell? No, no, it's a, it's a pub. Oh, it's Fat, a pub. Fat right, Al has a pub in St. Helens. Right, oh, I see. Right, so, so Fat Al, I remember when you were DJing in the walk, walkabout in Liverpool and, and literally stood up. Now, there's something called Chateau... I'm going to use the full term, Chateau de Shite. Right, which right. basically what they do is they get some really cruddy wine, get a soda stream in the factory, and they go, does anyone want a bottle of bubbly tonight? And this stuff costs about two quid or three right. quid or whatever. Anyway, Fat Al had a trick where he goes... If anyone brings me a bar, bra, you can have a bottle of bubbly. Right. And and he said, and we saw this one big bird see it off. And I said, God, we wouldn't mind chatting to her mates, but she's horrendous. He goes, the good news about that stuff is she'll be going home in 10 minutes after having a bottle. Absolutely superb. Great times, mate. Great times. I think we gave her two bottles to keep it on. <laughs> Now, listen, listen, Fat Al, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make you our North of England correspondent oh, from next week. Right. right. But the only problem is, because you're on your mobile phone at the moment, we're going to leave it at that for now, but we're going to take your number and Fat Al is going to be joining the show. Anne Marie Thank is you, in... Fat Al in Burnley. Uh, Anne Marie is in what she describes as the Glasgow area of Glasgow. <laughs> so, Anne Marie, Hi you're there. on Talk TV. Hi there, how are you? Hi, hey. we're good. How are you, Anne Marie? It's my birthday as well. Hey! Happy birthday! So is it your birth oh, yeah, was it your birthday on the twentieth? 
My name's Anne. I'm a little bit older than Andre. I'm 61 today. Oh, oh congratulations. Well, Andre's birthday was actually on the 19th. What did you say? It was actually on the 19th. So His I birthday managed, was Friday. I managed to ensure that nobody knew it was my birthday. And you, and you were the only one. I remember. I'm the only one who remembered. She's like an elephant. <laughs> she never forgets. <laughs> and she, no, she no, no, not for that reason. You're not like an elephant. Yeah, Although when you took you. your knickers off, oh, stop it, V. A. Think about Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> we should. We, no, we we share a dressing room. And she went. She went. I'm not joking. She went. I, I've just got to take my clothes off. So she took her clothes off, and and I just looked back, and obviously, and it was quite a pretty sight. I'm not going to lie. Thank but you. also, she <laughs> left the door open, and like a load of blokes, the, there was a tour of the building. See, from I'm the I'm not management. bothered if he sees me. No, didn't... I'm not joking. There was a tour of the building <laughs> by the man. No, no, and, and listen to this. Honestly. There was a, there was a tour of the building. They're going, this is the studio used by Jeremy Kyle. This is the one used by Piers Morgan. This is. And there she is. She's going, shut the door, pull me knickers off. Shut the door, pull me knickers off. <laughs> It's true. It's no, all true. That is the sight of the moon rising <laughs> over London Bridge. And I'll have my little white mark. Yeah, I did see that. Because I've got a great time. I did see that. This morning, look no further than you two. <laughs> we have a laugh here, don't we? Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. Do you know what I mean? You're so... You're so you just pull you in. You're captivating the two of you. Thank you, Anne-Marie. No, oh, you thank are. you. I mean, I think... They're saying supposedly the ratings are going down with this morning, but I'll tell you what, you've got the best chemistry in television. I've seen no, 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 I think you might. Should we do this morning? What? Should we do this morning? We should well, do this morning, shouldn't we? Okay. No, Two well, days pregnancy. That wow factor, okay. that fun factor that the country needs right now. Yeah. Right, we're going to do. We're going to do. Do you know what though, Anne Marie? We would probably get banned after like no, one. No, let's show. do our audition for for. Okay, should we do our audition this for morning? This morning. Okay. This morning. Okay. okay. What do you think okay, about Should Nicholas I start? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Nicola Sturgeon's husband? Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. On this morning, we're going to be talking about teenage pregnancy in the Scottish borders. And how you can make a cake by using just one ingredient, a shoe. <laughs> uh, Boy George will be in Rwanda looking at the genocide at uh, 20 years on. And hopefully Andre will be discussing the worst periods he's ever experienced. And our agony aunt will be talking to you if your penis is small. That and more on this morning. <laughs> That's right, that was good! That's good. Oh, sorry. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, my word! Boy George will oh. be in Rwanda. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a wonderful, do you know what I mean? Oh, really thank good. you, Anne-Marie. Do you know, do you know, do you know Anne-Marie, I've said... I'm a lonely person and I enjoy listening to you on a Saturday night and I know I've got all my television all ready for next week for when you change over. Fantastic, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Do you know what? we? I have found more and more, the more people that come up and chat to me, which, by the way, if you ever see me out and about, please come and chat to me and talk about not the show. Me, don't me. don't think you can't talk about no, it. No, you can't talk to me. Don't ignore me. him. Don't, yeah, don't, 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 approach, don't, him. don't approach him. He's not very I'll just, approachable. I'll just, I'll just go, no. <laughs> yeah, he's not approachable. No, but the truth is, I, I know a lot of people who may be lonely or whatever have... have, have really felt compelled and part of the show and that's exactly what we're going to do it's a massive compliment so yeah like Anne marie get your telly ready for next week yeah do you know oh, actually I, I was quite moved by that when people started saying that they were kind of on their own and they i know it's nice it's nice and to be honest we have fun they have fun everyone has fun it's got, always you, got that light do you know, do you know the best thing about when it, israel you, starts with its no no, the, no 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 lest we forget lest we forget when bogorzhin oh. tried to invade when we tried to invade moscow yeah because <laughs> yeah because saturday, saturday, saturday night is a saturday great going, breaking going, news going, and so, so I walked in, and Danielle was ashen faced. She went, Bogorshi and the Wagner Group are invading Moscow. I right, know. we have to do this. I'd only been doing news for about six months. I was like, ah! Was, anyway, and the best bit was, I rehearsed my whole thing, and then 10 minutes before he stopped, <laughs> so we, had to, we had to go, we had to go, here's all the things we would have said had it was still been going on. Oh, Anne Marie, thank you for like calling. There has been a few. Thank you for calling in, Anne Marie. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Thank you. Oh, you wanted to talk about Nicola Sturgeon, but the yeah, let's not. So no, don't we don't like her. No. Uh, we eat Jimmy Cranky. <laughs> Actually, we can't really talk about uh, Nicola Sturgeon or Peter Morell because it is an ongoing court case now he's been charged. Ah. She hasn't been charged with anything, nor has she been rearrested. but it's probably easier not to. Hey, by the way, uh, somebody contacted us earlier in, on the text messages saying, uh, well done to, to you for last week 
uh, when you were talking about all the issues that were going on with the drone swarm. Oh. And do you know what I did? I, I sent a commendation to, to our bosses for uh, Matt and George in the gallery because, like, they got it together. You know, they're not top draw people. You know, they wouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, they are. They wouldn't, no, they wouldn't be working at the weekend if they're any good. But we've got, we've got like, the worst people on. But they were actually quite good. No, I'm joking. You're cheeky. <laughs> um, someone's saying, Andre, happy birthday, but please read out some text, mate. What text did you want to read out? Um, at which which one? So oh, this one. Hi, hi, guys. Happy birthday. Um, oh, Audrey. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's you. Happy birthday, Audrey. Danielle, you're so gorgeous. How how are your feet? Well, let's have a look. Just feet. I mean, they look normal to me. I've got all right feet. My, do you want to do you want to sniff my feet? No, I do not. No, I you do. All, no. I remember that week when I could that smell them fault. under the desk. That was not my fault. And I'm thinking, I can smell his feet. And then he told me, oh, yeah, I've not been able to change my socks or whatever. It wasn't was. my fault. <laughs> I, I think I was moving that month. OK, we've got Yasmin on the line who claims she's a pagan witch. I love this oh, because I do a bit of witchcraft. It's Yasmin in Manchester. Yes, I do. I do spells and stuff. Hi, Yasmin. Only good stuff because if you do bad stuff, it comes back to you tenfold. Hi, Yasmin. You're through to Talk TV Talk Radio. <laughs> Hi, uh, Danielle. Hi. Hi Andre. Happy birthday, Andre. Thank you. Born in 1974, Andre. Sorry? Were you born in 1974? Uh, yeah, Yasmin, um, it's, this is a bit cruel, but it was my little joke that he is only actually 45. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 23. Uh, uh, 79, weren't you? 79? Born in 79. Yeah, 79. Uh, I'll tell you what happened to me. I'll tell you what happened to me. My parents conceived me because there was something, there was something there where they just knew Mrs. Thatcher was no, going you, to become. No, you, you were definitely just, the last one, so you were an accident. They knew, they knew, they knew that Mrs. Thatcher was going to come to power, and and they they just felt that what they wanted more than anything else was, a was to create guy. a Thatcherite boot boy who would support the changes in this country. Mm. And if you believe that. You believe anything? My dad was in. My dad was a, a co-op boss who was a member of the Labour Party. <laughs> uh, Yasmin, I thought I liked him. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, um, Yasmin, what do you want to talk about? What I was going to say was. Uh, I say was. He's not dead. Yeah. I mean, he's still, he's still, he's still very much with he, us. He, he, he was. He was employed by the co-op. He's not. He's not. He's not a previously existed person. Okay. What it is is that when you get on YouTube, if you want a witch to give you any spells or anything, um, I'll do it for you. So are you, you're on YouTube? No, when you're on no. YouTube. No, oh, should, 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 should we have a witchcraft oh, correspondence? Right, so Yasmin, just very quickly, right. because... Let's have a witchcraft of, correspondence. Loads of women love this. So you just give us a really quick spell for no. uh, making a wish come true. Uh, the first thing you've got to do to make a wish come true, there's loads of spells to do it to manifest it but the quickest one is if you want money in your purse get a bailey write a pound sign on it and you'll get money coming well, in to you do you want me to tell you what you i did turn, yes, man. if you I've want to turn you know, if you want if you want to turn a piece of uh, vegetation into do you want me money, to tell you just get some heather do you want me to tell you something do you want me to tell you something that's going to surprise you and don't worry it surprised me too we did my husband and i we come across a spell he thinks i'm crazy but we got a bay leaf and it said write a sum of money on it i wrote a number on it that i thought was quite ridiculous i then put a coin and wrapped it with red thread i then put it yeah. in a left shoe and left it there and forgot about it that his contract that he was offered in Saudi was that exact amount of money. I'm just Did you saying. have a spare left shoe because you because Christy Brown was living with you? <laughs> no, you put it in a left shoe of a shoe you don't wear that, very that's much. That's obscure. Because Christy <laughs> Christy Brown only used one shoe. Do you remember the film My Left Foot? <laughs> I don't remember that. He's well, gonna... Yasmin, it's true, isn't it? Do you know what? It doesn't matter whether it's placebo or whatever. The truth is, if it works, who cares? <laughs> Yes. Right, Yasmin, you are now our pagan correspondent. Yeah. We're taking down her number, but we are a bit over on the break. So, Yasmin, okay. we're going to have to go. We're going to phone you back next week to be our witchcraft correspondent. Can't believe we've got one of those as a Christian. Goodbye. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs>、hey, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online, and we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Oi, oi, Trico.
when JK Rowling says, let's just be honest. That's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, a trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yeah. Quite yeah. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <listen. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth blimp. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> even, <laughs> yeah. even, for... Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist we're, we're did fail her. Yeah, we're absolutely. supposed to have was moved on from that. Era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Welcome back. Good morning. It's Talk Radio Talk TV. If you're listening or watching, I'm Danielle Nichols. This is Andre the Walker. Andre. This, is, this is the birthday boy, Andre Walker. Birthday big, suit, Andre Walker. Big 5 0. Uh, no, do, we have got no, 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 no. He's no. not. He's only 45. You are actually younger than me. You're no. about, what, six months, five months younger no, no, than me? No, no, about six years. No, you're not. Um, uh, we've got a message here all witchcraft stems from evil. I agree with That's that. That's a little dramatic. No, I agree it with that. Actually, it comes from a pagan traditions. Oh. White or black, glory be to God, that comes from John. John, I agree what? with you. I, no, I think... If you think sticking a pound sign on a bailiff's going to make you rich, then you are either a seller of pound sign bay leaves or you're an idiot. Well, the point is, it, who's making any money yeah, there's exactly. The thing is, there's loads of weird stuff in religion. There's loads of ceremony and all that. We've lost our sense of ceremony because we've lost a lot of of rituals. Yeah, you drink the blood of Christ. You, you eat. I love drinking blood. You do. I mean, come on. You, and I think as long as no one is hurt and and you know, it's it doesn't matter, does it? As long as you're enjoying. The yourself, one true it? God is Christ. Oh my um, God. I, I believe in God, I, and remember, I'm a Christian. Do you remember that bloke who made the joke to the Dalai Lama? And he goes, the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop, and he goes, why does he do that? And he goes, no, the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop, okay. He goes, make me one with everything. And the Dalai Lama goes, why did he say that? And he goes, it's not really worked, this joke, has it? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what, what's he talking about? I like that, make me, yeah, make I, get it. Make, yeah, I get it. Uh, we've got Vicky on the line in Kent. Hello, Vicky, how are you this evening? Well, morning uh, now. I'm OK, thank you. Good, good. Morning. good. Good morning. Say so happy birthday to Andre. He shares his birthday with my late dad. Oh. What, 19th of April, 1979? Well, not 1979. <laughs> well, not 1979. Oh, I was going to say. Oh. Yeah. I think 48, maybe. But, 48. Yeah, I knew I liked you. There's oh, a reason. Well, you nice. know, you know uh, Danielle 
has not only the same birthday as my mum, but the same day my grand died as her birthday. It is weird, that, isn't it? Oh, that is lovely. But, Danielle, I wanted to say to you, I was so set last week and so emotional. Okay. What, what, the Iranian drone swarm? Oh, nothing to do with that. I couldn't speak to you last week because of that. Yeah. It was the last ever Ant and Dex Saturday night takeaway. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no, you can't mention that. Because, well, to be fair, we used to be on at the same time, isn't it? No, we changed the name of this show. It was emotional. No, they used to call it the Saturday Night Talk Away, and we thought, well, why why should we be second best? Because we're better than Ant and Deck. And I've been to... My God, I saw saw Deck's house. (gasps) It's, like, worth 10 million quid or something. I bet it is. I believe 20 years have passed, and Saturday Night Takeaway, my girls... Why phone us to well, tell us? Well, in fairness, Vicky, my mum said to me, there's nothing to watch, and I'm, all I'm looking forward to is watching Saturday Night Telly with you and Andre. Yeah. Cheers, my mum, now, so yes. she's maybe a, maybe a tiny yeah, that, that, bit biased. Vicky, are you all sorted to watch us on YouTube to. next week? Absolutely. Yes. Right. Makes you feel well, but I am going to see Take That next week. Oh! So you're not seeing us next week? Where, where are you going? Where are you watching them? The O2. At the O2? Why don't you become our Take That correspondent? <laughs> Tell us all about Take yeah. That. Do you want to hear my Take That story? My husband won't like this, right? This is my Take That story. So when we went to watch the concert, they don't do it now, but anyone who's a big Take That fan will remember this. They start at the back about halfway through and they run down through the crowd. They got in trouble for doing Now everyone goes crazy. So they run down through the crowd and running past us was Gary Barlow. Yeah. Now, all I'll, say, up, like, all I'll say is I didn't realise quite how small the boat was. He is, is he? he is tiny, right? So I'm heavily pregnant, so I stayed in my seat, but everyone's, like, running forward to, like, grab Gary Barlow. Do you know who was at the front? And you know who ran forward and grabbed and touched Gary Barlow? That Your was husband. my husband. Was he? Hey. <laughs> He's he went, watching. Gary, Gary! And he ran forward and he, like, grabbed him and he come Did back he... and he went, I touched Gary he went, Barlow! He went, he went, Gary, Gary, Gary. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, can, can, I've, I've, got, I've got a great story about about Take That. Gary Barlow uh, does, as part of his stage show, I don't know if he still does it, he gets someone on stage and he says, look, I wrote a million love songs when I was 17. I didn't write it about anybody. It was just a nice song and that was it. Right. I'm willing to sing it to somebody in the audience. And a guy I'd met at Fat Al's pub called Tony put his hand up. And he went... Tony, um, what do you do? And he goes, I'm a Gary Barlow impersonator in Tenerife. No. And he goes, are you actually any good? And he goes, yes. And he goes, let's do both verses. Right, and there's a video on YouTube oh, of Tony. To and then he goes, when Tony takes over, and literally the saxophone guy, you can see him, like, listening, going, but now that's phenomenal. Like, and he's going, like, a million, a million all together now. He's got, like, the accent and everything. <laughs> Tell you what we've got to do. We must get... So, so Tony... The Gary Barlow impersonator was actually uh, said, it, it's you off telly, isn't it? So it doesn't sound like that. But we should get him on as well. We should do. Absolutely. And the other thing we should do, we should get, we should get, um, should we get Charlie Mullins on. Charlie Mullins yes. said that he wants to come on the show. Definitely. He's a really good bloke. Let's get him on. Um, Vicky in Kent, he's going to be watching us on YouTube next week, so all is good with the world. Um, I'm sorry about Ant and Deck, but we're still here. So it's not too bad. So Keith in Burnley says, Danielle, I've changed over from Babe Station. You're better looking than those girls. Keith in Burnley... So, Keith, what I want you to do is phone up or maybe send a send a voice message on WhatsApp, 0344 499 1000, and we'll have a listen, and then and you can just get, get it all out. Keith, let me tell you my Babe Station story. So I used to do late-night television. It was a quiz show on ITV that was on at late night. It's called Tutti Fruity on and it was RTL. Called, it was called Text Today. It's called Tutti Fruity. And um, I didn't realise <laughs> that the studios were above the Babe Station studios. So one time I went down to the Coke can machine and I put my money in and this girl walked out with just, just strings covering a bit. And she went, hey, are you all right? And I, yeah. Well, it's a big surprise when you don't know babe stations downstairs. I've got to be honest with you, I, I went for a night out at Stringfellows and my mate brought his wife, who at the time was the mayor of Windsor, and she was really attractive and someone went, how much for you, love? Oh! <laughs> Mind you, she was quite hot, to be fair. Uh, those of you in Windsor will remember the hottie who was mayor of Windsor because it hasn't happened before or since. Well, there you go. OK, Anita is in Rotherham. Rotherham. Anita, you're on Talk TV. 
Anita, turn your TV turn off, your Anita. TV we're going to put you down, Anita. and we're going to go to Jimmy in Birmingham. Anita, we'll come back to you. Just need to get that TV off. Uh, Jimmy in Birmingham, we're on Talk TV. Hi, Andre. Hello. Oh. Hello, Danielle. Hello, Jimmy. Um, happy birthday, Andre. Thank you very much. Um, Guys, you've let people speak a lot tonight. Can I speak, please, just briefly? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry to bring your wonderful show down, but you know, no. everybody's, everybody's singing and dancing about Mr. Sunak and his new rules for people on sickness benefits, mm -hmm. uh, but nobody has mentioned the fact that this is going to cause a whole load of death and suffering. And the fact that he said... Um, doctor's notes will no longer be recognised, I think is absolutely appalling. Oh, it's not. Can I just oh, come on, on, no, right? come on. Let's Let him go. finish. Hang on, thanks. Also, he said, and I quote, this is very important, after one year, if you have no job, your claim is closed and you get nothing. Right? Now, if that is the case, that means that the rent isn't paid on your room or your flat either. So you're going to be homeless. Mm. So you're ill and you're But it's all right if you're, you're um, if you're coming from another country and you're seeking asylum, then they'll give you somewhere to live and an allowance. And yeah, a... I know. I, I know, mean, that, I yeah, agree, Jimmy. I agree with yeah, you Jim, wholeheartedly, Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy, I agree. Jimmy, Jimmy, can I ask you this question? So we're always, we always, with these shows, get two groups of people. We get one group of people who will say... Look, I've suffered from X illness throughout my life. How dare you have a go at people on benefits? And there are people who've worked hard, who brought up families and whatever, who might have had some sort of an industrial injury or, 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 or fallen ill in their older age. And they will say, it's a disgrace to cut benefits. And then there will be other people who haven't suffered from any of this who will say, why are we wasting taxpayers' money? I would argue, with, I would argue to you that we are bringing more and more people into benefits and we need to get more and more people out to work. Now, you know, ultimately, if you have, you know, if you have, I don't know, cancer like James Whale at stage four, you're not going to be able to work very much. I mean, a radio presenter is slightly different. But, you know, if you are a little bit depressed, then I really think that it's just going to be better for you to get out to work. Well, they're not, let's be honest, Andre, even with cancer, they're not going to treat... Um, anybody the same same way that James Well gets treated here gets treated fantastic. Well, that wouldn't happen if you were just doing a normal job. Well, would he, it? I mean, he couldn't do a normal job. Well, exactly. But, but it, look, the truth is, people need to should go to work. It's good for them. It's good to go to work. However, if we're living in a society where we are supporting asylum seekers and people like that, like I agree with a society where there is a benefit system. I'd rather people were getting benefits than stealing things from me. So I have no problem with it. It's the same thing. It, no, but my, the point, what should, it starts to feel, it starts to feel like, I think people are just getting sick of it because it starts to feel like you're paying all this tax. I don't understand. You don't, what are you getting for it? If the, problem is, getting... the problem is, everybody is on the social It's a safety now. net. Everybody's on They're the no, social. everybody is not on the social. On and the if social. everybody is on the and social, when I try to get the reason the for that is the reason for that is that they're not being paid well enough from the companies that they work for that the oh, government then have oh, to subsidise oh, their wages because oh, they're not paid properly. Oh. Oh, and the reason reason wages have been suppressed in this country is because of a European Union. You voted to remain in. You voted to remain in. You're evil. No, I'll tell you this, right, and I feel very strongly about this. We should look after the people who live no, here. The people who live men. here should be looked after first. Well, you voted and, it, and, and I am not OK with the fact that they've got... that They're putting people in hotels and all that lot, and then they're pushing other people who have disabilities, essentially, like Jimmy says, to maybe end up homeless and live on the street. Have we gone mad. Have we gone mad? Well, we're going to get more mad when Keir Starmer is Prime Minister, because let's be clear, Rishi Sunak is awful, and I'm not going to vote for that man, even if he paid me, which of course he won't, uh, but Keir Starmer will be worse. OK, now, now, Danielle, we've got three minutes until the break. We're going to go to Woody in Glasgow after the break, because we love talking to Woody. Okay. But OK, come and be wicked with me and my girlfriend in my hot tub, Danielle. We dare you, and that's from Lily. So, Danielle, I really I've think... I've had this offer from Lily as my, as, as my birthday wish, I think you should go with Lily and her girlfriend and go into her hot tub. I'd watch. I, I know you watch. I'd be quite keen to watch. <laughs> I know you watch. <laughs> just, just, It's not going to happen. Just wear the small bikini. It's not going to happen. Just wear the small bikini. I'm sorry.
so Lily, I'm sorry, Danielle. Danielle is a real spoil sport. <laughs> uh, she's saying that she's not going to uh, come and 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 sit in your hot tub with you and your girlfriend. Let's go to a break. Also, uh, apologies, we're not reading out Talk TV Twitter. We will do that better next week. We've got new systems coming into place. And I do apologise. Uh, that's a message from Luke. Uh, we'll be back straight after this. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh, Ooh. It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, listen. <laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, did fail to, her. Yeah, we're absolutely. supposed to it was have another moved on from era. that. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Welcome to Talk Radio Talk TV. I'm Danielle. This is Andre. It's his birthday. He is 50. It's not my birthday and I'm not 50. <laughs> it's not happening. Why it was we... his birthday on Friday and he's 45. Also, she bought me a bottle from Lidl. Yeah. I mean, and it's not even a full bottle. It is a full bottle. I've not opened it. No, I mean, it's not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I know she hadn't had it on the, had it on the chain. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Look, I, I want I want to say I want to say hello to my old next door neighbour. I think I've killed her. I think I've killed her. I want to say I want to say I'll just tickle you now. I'll just tickle you. Now. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Oh, she'll, 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 she'll burst out of that dress. I will. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This dress is very tight. In the dressing room earlier, they sprayed her in. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I want to say hello to my former next door neighbour at Royal Holloway College. Um, I will tell you one thing. When, when, when I moved to, to university, it's fair to say I was quite naive from the north of England. You know, my mum and dad said, just stick all that stuff in plastic bags. You know, everyone else was there with the proper organised boxes. Oh. And as usual, my dad was late. So I met, met my next door neighbour who had dyed blonde spiky hair, earrings. Like you. Um, and uh, dyed blonde spiky hair, earrings. Uh, he was wearing dungarees and platform shoes uh, and makeup. And, okay. you know, and his name was Fernando. And do you know what I thought about him? Southerner. 
<laughs> it came as a genuine surprise. Is came... he a northerner? <laughs> no, no, oh. no, he's a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so, but I thought, literally, no, I'm not joking. Literally, at no point did it cross my mind that this wasn't the way that people from the south of England dressed. <laughs> that's what I thought. I that's, like that. That's what we all thought, bro. I like that. That's what we all thought. We've got Woody in Glasgow. Hi, Woody. You're through to Talk TV Talk Radio. Thank you. You look beautiful. Andre. More I'm beautiful. glad you're no 50 because that haircut, you need to be, you, if you're 50, no chance you're going to have that haircut. And I'm watching, I'm actually on... Hey, hey listen, listen, watching. listen. No, no, Woody, I'm sorry, Iceman from Top Gun is about 50 and he's probably still got this haircut. Listen, Andre, listen, I've actually got you on YouTube on my telly and I'm, I'm quite happy to watch you, right? And I love you to bits. That's but, what you do next week. You just go to YouTube, no, I'm, type I'm, I'm in Top TV. Right, I'm watching YouTube, right? But listen, can I say something, right? Andre, you know I'm a lawyerist, right? But listen, I voted Tories the last thing, and I can't vote Tories again. Well, I, I will, I will, I will tell you one thing, Woody, and and I, I don't want to make this show less fun, but I lament what's going on with Defence of the Union. I lament what's going on because. Uh, you know, we've got, the, we've got the situation in Scotland. I mean, to a less extent, we've got it in Wales and Northern Ireland. And unbelievably, okay. unbelievable to say that the problem with separatism is less in Northern Ireland than it is in Scotland, but I think it's true. But nobody no, seems to value uh, uh, the United Kingdom uh, uh, anymore. Andre, it's worse than Scotland, right? Hmm? I know, no, that's, what, that's literally what uh, I said. It's a, a laughable, right? The SNP has gone through turmoil, right? And it's just it's laughable, right? Uh, Daniel... I love you a bit, right? I'm Labour through and through. The only reason I didn't vote Labour was because of Jeremy Corbyn, mm. an IRA sympathiser, and you know that. Mm. And that, that man... Uh, Woody, he, Woody, he, I'm going to say this. Woody, Woody, Woody I'm going to say this. Woody, Woody, give me a second. Woody, give me a second. Give me a second. It pains me to say this, but technically speaking, Jeremy Corbyn has not supported the IRA. He supported the Irish Republican movement, and, yeah. and uh, I'm required to defend him. But let's move on. I'm, I'm sorry about that, right, but it's the same thing, but uh, the man has supported him as a leader of Labour, and that's what's hurt me, Daniel. It's really hurt me, right? I'm a loyalist for Glasgow. Well, Keira Starmer's definitely more Tony Blair, isn't he? Than, oh, uh, come Jeremy on. Corbyn was. He's Tony Blair without the steroids. <laughs> <laughs> really? Probably. probably but more. Andre, listen, I wish you were Labour, because I love you to bits. Thank you, but 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 I, I don't love you back, Woody. Aww. No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I, no, I, no, I like... Come on, we're in the last bit of the show. We're going to hammer through our okay. callers because we've got a lot okay. on the line. Woody, Sorry, Woody, go thank on, you Woody. so much. Woody, thank you so much. It's, it's kind of, I love you. Yeah, I love, I you. love you. I love okay. you. Okay, Maureen is on the Wirral. Maureen, you're on Talk TV. Good morning, Come on, Maureen. Maureen. Come on, Maureen. Okay. Maureen, you're going to have to turn your telly off. Maureen, you're going to have to turn the telly off. Just put something else through yes, quickly. Yes. It's so much oh, Maureen, we've got you. Go on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to say, um, <clears throat> I hope I can get you on next week on my television. You will. I'm, I'm not very. Te I'm not technical at all. You see. Maureen, you sound like own. you've got a phone from 1982. <laughs> I have. I mean, I've only got. I don't have a, a mobile. I know this is terrible. I have to pay for this as well. This is the landline. Um, Ma Maureen, yes, Maureen, Maureen, Maureen is ringing from a landline. Maureen just do you know, my kids the other day said to me, what is a landline, Mummy? No, do you, know, do you know when you say to kids in school, you go, yes. um, do, do, do a phone sign. You know how we used to do that? Yeah. Like, with the, with the thing yeah. over your mouth? Yeah. They go like that, don't yeah. they? They go... Yeah. And if you say, wind the window down in the car... They don't go like that. No, they do. They do. No, they go like that. No, no, they do. Wind the window down for most people. No, still. No, it's not. Do most Andre, people are I am telling yeah. you, ask a kid to do an impression of well, winding the children. window down I, in a car. I don't, I don't have any don't use children. children. I, I, I haven't got any use children. Wait, sorry, can sorry. I just, very quickly, because I cannot let the show end without... I, can I just I can't say, let the show I don't end talk to children. children. This. It's not the BBC. <laughs> Right. No, this is, is it, his I, I, charging I, I, bank. It's literally the size of a house brick. It's the size Andre, of a house uh, brick. On, on, no, it's not quite. <laughs> not quite. Maureen, no, Maureen, do you know what Maureen, I'm going to do? Maureen, Maureen, I literally, I do literally, you have a computer? No, Maureen, I can't be bothered arguing about this. I've, I've, I'll just give, it, give your name and address. We'll just send her. No, I'll just buy her. No, you won't buy in her a smart. I'll just buy her a smartphone. I'm just making money now. I've got a tablet. You know a tablet? A tablet? 
Sort oh, it! And I've, and I've got Andre, and, he, and because Andre came on two years ago, and I saw you, and I thought, what a good, what a brilliant man to be on the telly. I there you go. Too. Maureen, and, and so, you can get I, I, YouTube on your tablet dead easy. Yeah. And then all yeah. you do is search in the in the search bar, you write talk TV. That's yeah. literally all you do. And it will come up at the very top and you'll click on it and you'll be watching talk TV. I know, but it, I, so it says it's I the have, one that says live TV. Because I have a television in, the, in my kitchen, a little one, I won't be able to see you really because I'm just doing stuff in the kitchen all the time. Well, you, know, so, you can you can put your tablet and prop it up yeah. in front of the one that's in the kitchen. The other, yeah. the other thing. Just the, like the, the, the other thing is. The other yeah. thing is. There's a little. There's a little box you can buy, which are maybe five or ten pounds that you can stick in your TV that you can get YouTube on. Have you, you got any younger? Of, of Maureen. Yeah. On a serious yeah. note, do you have yeah. any grandchildren or anything no, like that? No. No. You don't. Are you not, no, no, no. No nieces no, or nephews no. or. Do you have a no, neighbour? No. No. Do you have a high school nearby? Do you know anybody? If you have you know a high school anybody nearby, younger? If you have, no, because Maureen, honestly, Maureen, if you ask anyone, anyone younger anyone. than the age of 30, I'm, they will I'm, be able to help Maureen, you. Maureen, what you need to do, Maureen, what you need to do yes. is get, get your car. Do you have a car? Yes. Right. What you need to do is drive slowly past no. young men in your area, <laughs> oh, wind your window down, oh, don't and you. shout out saying, <laughs> don't "I need, I need to pay that. you to help me." Right. Just and and that that will then you'll then they'll start talking ah. to you, and you'll you'll be <laughs> she'll be fine then. She'll be fine. You can just drive very slowly past. Maureen, them. on a serious note, do you go to church or anything? Do you know anybody who's young? Do you know anybody? Do you know anybody? <laughs> anybody? Do you go to the pub? Do you play golf? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I, I mean, I don't... Oh, no, no. But the thing is, um, yeah, I just want to tell... On, I just want to tell Andre. You know, Andre, can you... Hang on, Maureen. Uh, no, stop, stop for a second. Maureen, where in the Wirral do you live? In the Wirral? No, no. Do you live anywhere near Bromborough? Further... No, I live in, in between Airby and Greasby. Right, can I just tell you, my uncle yeah. lives in Bromborough, right, and yeah. he's an expert on TVs, right? Mm -hmm. He used to be a BT engineer. Leave your number, I'm going to send Uncle Barry round oh, to my. fix your bloody This telly. is perfect, right. Maureen. Thank you very much, Maureen. Uh, Maureen is going to be watching us on YouTube next week because your Uncle Barry is going to... Barry? He's going to sort it. An uncle... An <laughs> David uncle, is on an the line. Uncle Barry is going to go wild about it. Oh, this. he's going to love it. Hi, David. Good morning. How are you? I'm how good. Are you? How 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 are you? I want to know, I want to say happy birthday to the big boy. To the big boy. I'm not the big boy. <laughs> to not the, the big, big boy. Not the big boy. Just not the big boy. Your you dress so, nice, solid so shoulder. You're dressed very nice. Solid shoulder. I like your suit. It's very nice. Thank you like you so your much. suit. It's very nice. You're very, you're so well. It's the TV money coming through. That's the money coming through again. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, he's changed his socks. How are you, how are you getting on? We're all right, how we're you good. On, how, how are you getting on? How are you getting on? You, are everything going well, please? David, are you going to follow us to oh, YouTube? Don't ask him. Is everything going well for you? I want my whole thing to David, well for you. David, are you going to be able to get us on YouTube? I've got to try my best. He's going to try his best. That'll do. I That'll do. Have you got YouTube? No, 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 no. Have you got a computer, I'm gonna, David? I'm, I'm, looking to, I'm looking for that. I'll, I'll ask about that. I'm going to get... I'm going to... I'll see him about that and see what... Get, have, get, get, get have you got a smart TV? No, 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 no. Right, David, no. I know for a fact you've got a smart TV. Right, David, I know for a fact that you've got a couple of quid because you've told us you've got a couple of quid. So get a nice <laughs> teller. I have you to, said you've had three have houses. Cows. Where have the, the, the cows going? <laughs> the cows get it? What? <laughs> Can you say the cows? <laughs> right, well, the cow, cows can wait the this week. Have to, I have to feed the cows. You know, we have to get cows fed. You've got to get the cows fed? Come on, David, <laughs> you said you've got three... three no. houses. You need David, a David, house. David, I'm required yeah, to please. say to you, can we I'm phone you every week as our Irish correspondent? I'm a, I'm a money... I'm a money and her. He's a millionaire and he doesn't have a smart television. <laughs> Come on, David, help me out here. Still... Even me dad, who is tight as anything and literally will not Your ever dad's tight. get... He's yeah, very tight. And he won't ever buy <laughs> anything new. But even he I bought himself a nice big teller. Know, All right, David and Coleraine, thank you so much. No, we're losing you there, Dave. Uh, Tristan <laughs> is in Southend. Tristan. <laughs> you just Dave him off there. <laughs> Tristan. Tristan, Hello. oh my God, how are you? Hello, Tristan. Really Thank you. How are you both doing? 
Oh, good. How are you? Good. I'm going to put my glasses I'm on, really Tristan. Well, um, I've just got to say, there's some great news tonight. Mm. OK, so me, you, Danielle and Pete Barnes are all 45 now. Oh, we're all the same age. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Pete Barnes. <laughs> that is weird, actually. Pete Barnes is 33. It? Oh, you keep saying 45, you Oh, he boy. lies, he lies. I know, he but it, it, it's, it's, yeah. it is weird. It's easy to believe that Pete's 45. No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you, I don't know if Woke's coming up after this, but mm -hmm. earlier, earlier at 10 o'clock when Woke ran, they, they said, they said, Andre, we're going to do a new thing with your makeup, right? I don't wear makeup yeah. like normally, but they forced me to. I look like a tomato. No, you look better Aww. than you do normally because you, you look like a dead body normally. I'm, I am a dead body normally because <laughs> of you. Right, look at look at that. Where'd you get that? I know. I've she's in, she she's invented a whole new ethnic minority. I know. <laughs> she has, she has, I'm nasty she's I'm using the same creosalt as Ian Dale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, right. just put it just put it on. It'd be mahogany. <laughs> If you're doing makeup, I can't see it. Yep. Right. <laughs> Just remember that this time. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Um, the um, gentleman, I think it was Jimmy who phoned in, said yep. about this welfare reform's going to yep. kill people and all the rest of it. Richie, so Richie Sunak is only saying about people who can, and with things like depression and anxiety, I'm sorry, but the worst thing you can do is leave someone at home staring at four balls all day. Absolutely, absolutely. Exercise yeah, so, and spend yeah. it. Do you, know, do you know one of the best things for your mental health, and I honestly didn't know this until Go recently, on. and now I feel a bit silly about it, but mm -hmm. I, I want to have spread it because obviously I didn't know. One of the best things you can do for your mental health is have nonsense conversations with strangers just greeting people in the shop and things like that it's yeah. apparently really good oh for your i get into health. trouble at that i get into trouble at, i go to a bar right and get chatting to people and everyone thinks yeah. i'm a nutter no i don't <laughs> well we think you're a nutter for other reasons not no, that's not my fault right not because you're chatting to people at the bar yeah, but it's but true isn't thing... it tristan you're right for those kind of problems you're right sitting yeah. at home with your own thoughts is the last mm. thing you need to be doing no, yeah, but, yeah, but hang on a second hang on a second surely you must have gone through that, Tristan, because, um, and we made it, well, we didn't make a joke about it, but I accidentally forgot that you were that you'd gone blind a couple of weeks yeah. ago when you phoned in. But you've gone blind. It's happened yep. when you were, what, in your 40s? Something yep. that's incredibly difficult to deal with. And, and, and you must have sat on your own at times and been incredibly depressed. Now, I Absolutely just wonder whether not, shows like this no. helped. No, no, I've not been depressed about this at all. I've been very positive. It's really? just about relearning. Why, like. why were you so positive about it? Why do well, you... you it, it can't be that you don't care. No, of course I care, but it's like you're relearning. That it's like living a second life because you're learning everything all over again. So I've tried to make it as exciting as possible. That's how it's worked for me. Well, that is such a good attitude to have, Tristan. Yeah, and before anyone says, why you, I always say, why not me? You know? I used to say that about losing my daughter. People, yeah. yeah. I used to think yeah. the same thing, like, yeah, but I, yeah, people yeah, but the, die, don't they? One of the things that I find really, really difficult, and actually you've made it very easy for me, when, when people go, I know what it's like, right? There's no oh. way I'm going to sit with you and say, I know what it's like to lose a child. Because, yeah. But also, the other thing is, you do want to try and at least engage because one of the big problems is, they always say, if you're happy, you're happy amongst friends. If you're sad, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. And that's not quite what the saying is. Mm -hmm. But but people must have avoided you because they just didn't oh, know what yeah. to say. Yeah. Must avoid you, Tristan, just because you're whiff. No, uh, but the, Tristan, <laughs> but people must avoid you because they're nervous about what to say to you. Um, I think people are embarrassed to be seen with me. What? I'm not In what lie. way? No, 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 no. I'm not trying to be a victim there saying that. I'm really not. Um, but things I used to get invited to, I never do now. Really? Um, yeah, seriously, my social circles dropped quite a lot. Well, they're uh, just all the ones who weren't your proper friends anyway, weren't exactly. they? Exactly, but you make new friends in life, and that's always something to be excited well, about. Well, Tristan, I've, I've, I've said to you, after I accidentally forgot you were blind and said, how does Danielle look in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Um, I said that I was willing to buy you an alcoholic beverage of your own choice up to a maximum value of £3.75. So, oh. um, so, so, 
you know, you can collect that anytime you want. <laughs> There's a weather spring yeah. down the road. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell, Tristan, I'll tell you, I'll I think you've got a great attitude. I'll I tell you what we are thinking of doing, Tristan. We're thinking of inviting you into the studio. The only reason we haven't, and we, we mm -hmm. haven't yet, is because obviously there's huge changes at the channel as we move on to this new streaming service, and mm -hmm. we need permission. If we've met you via you phoning in, there are different rules for security reasons and whatever. Not, not that yeah. we think you're weird or dangerous, but oh. we just need to sort that out. Well, he gets in, and he's okay. weird and I'd dangerous. So. I mean, when the time's right for Talk TV and for you guys, OK? Tristan, thank you so much. We're going to quickly say goodbye, see if we can get our last caller in before we say goodbye for the Simon evening. Simon, he's in Leith. Lee. 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 He's a Leith. He's in Leith. You all right, Simon? All right, love. Hiya, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. All right, all right Cocker. All right, Cocker. All right, Andre. Oh, it is Andre. He's like, you're 50 today. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. No, but he's really worked. These have been the best 14 quid I've ever spent in my life. <laughs> no, if you want to just spend £14, pounds, if you want to spend £14, pounds, no, I'm sorry. I, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you want to spend £14, pounds, it should have been the large mixed grill from Weatherspoons with a pint of punk IPA and the optional dessert. That's the one to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. All he says is, like, did you go to all night? Did I, no, I didn't go to Loughton High. I went to I went to St Catharines and then I went to St Edward's College in Liverpool. Oh, right, right. Did you live in Loughton? I'm from Loughton originally. From Loughton? Your dad's in Loughton, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, so originally I lived on the Newlands Drive Estate and then we moved to... Do you remember when they knocked down Anderton House and there was oh, that man, new yeah, Barrett Estate built? Yeah, there at Anderton House. Yeah. Uh, funnily enough, when I was at St Catharines, I watched it being knocked down. Uh, it was the Lancashire Coalboard headquarters.